Welcome everyone, I'm Barry McCann and you're here for your uh, acrylic painting tip. This time I want to talk about um, brushes and, and brushes are such a, a controversial thing, uh, they're just so personal. And um, I want to talk about the brushes that, that I use, I get asked often about what kind of brush do you use. And um, the brush that I've found that works best for me is actually a, a synthetic brush. It's a golden nylon brush uh, made uh, in Germany by a company called Da Vinci. And um, look, they're so clever these days getting the synthetic brushes to mimic natural fiber and natural hair that it's, um, it's unbelievable. Uh, the uh, golden nylon brushes that, um, that I'm using are so densely packed with, with hair that uh, it makes my painting process easier. Because uh, when the when the hairs on the on the on the brush are so uh, thick and, and densely packed, it acts like a knife when you're picking up your paint. So it's kind of like a knife picking up butter and then spreading it. And um, because they are so so densely packed, um, I find them way easier to actually pick up my paint and distribute it onto the canvas. It's uh, I used to use hog hair or bristle brushes, and uh, what I found was that. The hair is a lot coarser and they seem to be spread a little bit further apart. And it was a little like um, picking up butter with a fork and, and trying to spread it. And I found that, that quite difficult. So the, the brushes that I use, I only I use a, a limited amount of brushes. I use basically four brushes and uh, I, I use this large one inch flat brush uh, basically for, for putting on my uh, a sealer or a retarder and also um, for putting on my varnish. I, I use a completely separate brush, it's exactly the same style brush, same size brush, but a completely different brush for doing both those jobs. The other brush that I use is a, a this a number 12 and, and numbers on brushes are just so confusing um, because uh, they can, the companies that make the brushes can number them however they would like to. But I love this numbering system. It relates to really uh, how wide the um, the frill is uh, where it meets the hair of the brush. So in this case, it's a number 12. So there's actually 12 mils um, at, the, at the neck of the frill. Oh, sorry, at the, at the base of the frill. Uh, the other brush that I use, this is my workhorse. This is a, a number four filbert brush. You can see the, the slightly different uh, shape of the brush. It's more, it's shaped more like a, like a cat's tongue. It's, it's rounded on the ends, as opposed to the flat, which is, which is uh, straight across at the end. Um, you can see the difference there. And um, so the, the filbert brush is, is really what I use for, for most of my, my work on my painting. Um, again, the number four uh, relates to around about the four mils um, at the base of the, the hairs. The other brush that I use is a little number two round brush. This is basically for doing details, um, you know, eyelashes on eyes and, and the hair and, and, and things like that. And if I really need to do some detail work, and th this brush is ideal. It comes to a beautiful point and um, yeah, I get some lovely fine lines with it. So they're basically the four brushes that I use. Um, the way I take care of my brushes is um, I, I clean my brushes out in, in cold water and um, I don't let the brushes stay in the cold water for a very long period of time. Uh, what I've seen is a lot of acrylic painters uh, put their their brushes just in a, a jar of water and leave them there until the next time they paint. And what I've found is that tends to bend the hairs of the brushes, uh, leaving them that way. And, uh, and alternatively, what I don't do is, is put them in water and then stand them up in, in a jar like this. But what can happen is that the water goes down through the ferrule of the brush and ends up um, into the wood and it can split the, the handle of your brush. So what I do is I, I wash my brushes thoroughly in, in cold water I then take off the excess water with a, with a tissue and I form them into a beautiful, lovely blade shape or, or whatever the, the shape is of the brush. So in this case, I'll, I'll shape it into a, a lovely filbert shape. And then I, I put my brush down to dry, air dry, on a, a brush holder. And uh, it's, it's on a slight angle uh, so that the, the hairs aren't touching the surface and what I've found is that um, no water, because I've taken the excess water off, no water actually goes down the frill and, and, and wrecks my handles. So the brushes that I prefer to use are the short-handled brushes. Now, my, all my brushes are short-handled, 
And the reason I like short handle brushes is because it gives me more control over my mark making and, and the brush work that I, that I do on my canvas. I, um, I tend to use smaller brushes, as you can see, because I'm painting smaller shapes. By painting smaller shapes, I am actually then in control of my drying time with the acrylic. So um, that's your, your tip for this time. Um, remember to uh, keep your brushes wet with paint and um, have fun painting. Until then, bye-bye.